All right, fam. So we are back at it again with another, another crazy video. Now today we got Candace Owens and Pierce Morgan. Oh man, oh man. Y'all know Candace. She, she, she's like, bro. She's, uh, she's like an unstoppable machine. I'm just saying, bro. Like Candace is just like she's just not to be played with. You know what I'm saying? Like she just. She's just that girl, you feel me? But this is Candace Owens on the Pierce Morgan uh, on Daily Wire, Israel, and Kanye and more. So we're gonna go ahead and react to this, but this right here is, uh, I think this part is about the whole uh, shot that went on back in 2020. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm talking about. That the, the thing they try to kill us with. Yeah. The thing I got banned for, I got banned off YouTube for two weeks for talking about it. Just because I said I wasn't gonna get it, they banned me. Uh, that's a true story. I did. But that's crazy, bro. Hopefully, they don't ban me this time. Well, it's kind of over with, so they shouldn't. But anyways, hit the like button, subscribe to the notifications. Without further ado, let's get it. let go. Sorry, blue okay, over his sure, original tweet. Why didn't it trend? Why wasn't there the same outrage? he didn't outrage, talk about please. one Jewish person. He talked about no, 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 Jewish no, no, no. people. I am asking you why you were not, why the public was not as outraged as when somebody threatens to drug someone out of their mind. As a very serious, real threat, and it was the same person, as he said, mm. was the person who first put him in the hospital the first time. Right. You seem to be okay with it. You're just sort of like, well, no, this of course is, I'm not okay it, with it. His, tw his tweet was so much worse. You're talking about taking away somebody's kids, putting them into a hospital, and drugging them out of their mind. Mm. Where is your outrage? I, d I do not know the background to what you're saying. Why there. does it seem to be that that is always the circumstance? Like wh whenever a, well, no, Candace, with respect, a, a with person with respect, you are out about how they're being threatened. No, 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 no. For some reason, this. This you don't want to. Pierce, you're this deflecting. is very important. Let me finish this. Let me finish this. This seems to be a trend that I have recognized. I saw this with Rabbi Shmuley for two years. Okay, this rabbi openly threatened me, my family, my livelihood. Him and his daughter did this for two years. There was no outrage, none, zero. In fact, you booked Rabbi Shmuley, didn't even ask him about it. Did you, would you, did you, did you threaten again? And then all of a sudden, I do nothing. And the full media is accusing me of anti-Semitism. Why does there seem to be this double standard that specific Jewish people, if they want to, can threaten the lives of black people, well, maybe. specific black people, I'm giving myself as an example, and there's not the same response. Like, why wasn't Rabbi Shmuley trending for two years over what okay. he said about I don't really, me. to be honest with you, I don't really, we're gonna to come to Rabbi Shmuley, and I might share a lot of your views about Rabbi Shmuley, but the, the point that you seem to be wanting to move on from and deflect from. I'm not moving on from it. I'm telling your, you that I had your more response, and Your so response I, was was to, some, to Kanye saying, when I wake up, I'm going deaf gone three on Jewish people. Piers, you've said this three times, and we I know, talked about because it three you times. Don't want to the question. I I'm, told you the reason why I, I said know. that is because I was aware I know. of six I know. Of, of multiple people in his life that were Candace, doing something. We, you, we, we, there's no point in belaboring the point. I've Candace, answered your question. I'm simply you cannot asking accept you. it. I'm simply you've asking you, when you say, the same when you say if times. you are an honest person, you did not think this tweet was anti-Semitic, you're saying that I'm dishonest because I believe what he said was anti-Semitic. And I no, think that's I am saying that. Well, first off, I'm just to start back at the beginning of this interview. I think you're dishonest for a lot of other reasons. So don't, please don't, don't, you know, harp on this one tweet. Um, but yeah, because you flip flop on your positions the entire time. That's like the reason what? why I tweeted like those things what? about you. But like, like, like I mean, what? everything, COVID, you flip flopped on COVID. You flip flopped no, on BLM. At one minute you were supporting BLM, and then you're, you're like, my son's, my son's out protesting. It's amazing. And then when they're burning stuff down, I don't find you to be someone that actually takes meaningful risks and says what you believe, you kind of take both positions uh, uh, all the time. Well, actually, so I'm, not an, chronic, I'm not an ideologue about any of it. So I'm don't think, an, don't think, well, don't think. No. Oh, Candace. <laughs> I told you, boy, she, she's like a fireball. <laughs> Candace don't care. I, I ain't gonna lie. I, I honestly wish I had, like, the, the fear, the fearlessness that Candace has in her, I, I wish I had that fear, fearlessness. Like, I say the things that's on my mind, but I kind of beat around the bush a lot. She's just, blah, 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 like gunshots, bro. I, I, I really I really wish I had Candace fearlessness. But anyways, let's finish. Don't, I'm like don't you, pretend I, that Candace, the first time I ever with respect, you were I'm not an ideologue about any of these things. Right, so you want okay. me to be an ideologue? You want me to stick to one side on everything? No, I'm I don't just saying do that. that it seems like it seems like once the conversation cracks, and this is a lot of people in media, they don't take risks. They deliver the government talking points, and then they 
move once it kind of becomes okay to question the government. So mm. COVID, this was the prevailing narrative. You were like, get the vaccine, da da da, da. If you don't do the vaccine, yeah. blah, 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 blah. And then all of a sudden now we're finding out that, and you would have called someone like me, what, anti-vax, trying to kill someone, all of these things. Well, I didn't get the vaccine. My family didn't get the vaccine. Mm. And now we're on the other side of this thing and people are like, well, maybe I had it wrong. Maybe I have some regrets. What do you well, think I've expressed you regrets over? going with the mainstream well, well, narrative on, in the beginning. I'm just keep talking. What do you think I've expressed regret about with COVID? Well, let me ask you, are you still standing by all the stuff you said about people being idiots for not getting the vaccine? Yeah, the only thing I changed because the scientific advice changed and I've accepted that if there was another health pandemic, I would not rush to accept scientific advice in real time as actually 100% irrefutable, never to change because science evolves and especially in a health emergency. The one thing I have said I changed my mind over because the science advice changed was that they originally they advised that if you had the vaccine, then you could not transmit the virus. And I was then very censorious towards people who simply refused to have the vaccine because I said, you, it's not about you, it's actually about your ability to transmit it and maybe infect more vulnerable people. And I thought it was selfish. Well, that's a pretty big change. Well, hang just on, hang clear. on, let me finish, let me finish. And I was very censorious, way too censorious. I've admitted that. Shouldn't have been so censorious. And when the science advice changed and said, actually, there's now evidence that suggests, and in fact, it looks clear, the evidence, that if you have the vaccine, it makes little difference to your ability to transmit the virus or not, then I changed my position. And when I was asked about that later, I said, absolutely. I should not have been so censorious to people who didn't have it, because at that point, it becomes personal choice. But if you ask me on the wider picture, do I think the COVID vaccines were a good thing? Absolutely. Do I think they saved millions of lives? Absolutely. Do I think the deliberate attempt to discredit all science involved in the COVID pandemic is a dangerous, dangerous thing for society? Absolutely. Do I know lots of people who died from COVID who would potentially have been saved by a vaccine if it had been there when they caught the virus? Absolutely. So do not take my one clarification about the ability of a vaccine to prevent transmission as being some great mea culpa that I think... That, that's a huge that mea culpa, think, oh, Pierce. Well, that's a, that's a, actually, it's a huge not, mea culpa. Actually, it's, it's a not. huge mea culpa. Because that means that you, you, you let people down, to go no, no, out and to get an experimental to, vaccine in their arm yeah. and, and encourage them not to listen to independent voices that were saying, hold on. That's a huge mea culpa. People died from the vaccine. So you're talking about people that died from not getting it. Mm. There have been scores of people who died from the vaccine. There have been scores of people like my grandfather who got the vaccine and then were dead within one year because it it led to their de dementia suddenly spreading and, and, or, or no advancing idea. rather in a way. Stop, stop, stop. I let you I let You, you do speak not about know that that was down to the so, vaccine, do so, you? Okay, do okay. You? first and foremost, they have admitted so much. They lied about the six feet social distancing that just mm. came out two weeks ago. And you were on the side of all of these people. So don't pretend that that's a small mea culpa. People died mm. from blood clots pertaining to the vaccines mm. that you were telling them to rush out and get, okay? People so died had they from, have oh, waited and perhaps listened to independent agree? voices right, who understood you. that let there was ask, some okay. government. No, I let, you let talk. I let you talk about your mea culpa. Had they have paused and listened to independent voices mm. who have, uh, I think, probably a greater strength when it comes up to standing up to government initiatives mm. because we recognize that the government is not our friend and we recognize that the government is not trying to save our lives. Mm. Maybe those people would be alive. Maybe my friends who had miscarriages and my friends who were saying that it was impacting their menstruation until the government was ready to admit that seven months later. If you had listened to people that were telling you their own experiences, someone I know that went completely blind in one eye because of some weird ocular clots. Mm. So don't pretend that's a small thing. None I just want to say, I'm, I'm happy to accept know. that you've changed your mind. Let me respond. But don't pretend it's a small thing. Let me people respond. died from the vaccine. Let me respond. And, they, and by it, the way, I want to be clear for people watching this. He's saying still get it. I'm saying still don't. Just so you can hear a different opinion. Do not allow the government to put that in your arm. Okay. God's system works. The okay. government is not fixing you in any okay. regard. And do you feel the same way about the flu shot? Yes. Oh, my gosh. I haven't gotten a flu shot since I was like 12. OK. And things like polio yeah. and measles and all the other shots. Yeah, that I don't give just kids. Uh, Joe, let's skip to the point. You might know this. I don't vax my children. They are not right. vaxxed. We travel the world. My children are never sick. 
I am proudly, as you media terms it, anti-vax. I'm very aware okay. of the psychological the way, entirely your of right. coming up with names for people you, you can, for you making can, sensible okay. decisions. I don't believe, oh, let me just, Big Pharma is not God. I understand. Okay? Big Pharma is, is very much, in my view, getting in the way yeah. of God's so, so designs. So I fundamentally, listen. I Bro, I'm going to stop it right there because that, that's the end of the whole vaccine thing that I want to talk about. Whew. Candace is like, bro, she is like a fireball, fam. Like, I mean, bro, like, she has no filter. And it, it's good because it's like she saves what's on her mind. She saves the truth. She speaks the facts. And she has so many. Like, I, I don't understand how she carries so many facts in her brain. Like, our brain is not like, you know what I'm saying? But we we never know everything. But, bro, like, the facts that she carries, like, it, it's it's amazing. It's amazing to me, the amount of facts that she carries. I'm not going to sit here and just hop on the, oh, my gosh, Candace is so right bandwagon. Because, let's be real, when the when the whole VAC came out, you know what I'm saying, I done seen, I done heard about people that passed from it. But I also heard about things that that was good from it you know what i'm saying personally i didn't get it you know why i don't trust the government okay i, I don't trust the it, it just was first of all it was too quick to me i was just like bro this whole like this let's look at it like this <laughs> let's backtrack let's look at it like this i'm glad i didn't get it i knew that this whole night vaccine COVID 19 whatever this was all i feel like this was all man-made thing first of all it lasted for a few well, it lasted for a year two year three i don't know it lasted for these time but then next thing you know it just went away then they try to bring something else about saying that oh this is a new disease that's out like it's just like bro at the end of the day i don't trust the government i don't trust what they try to sell us you know what i'm saying they try to sell us these things i don't trust it i didn't trust putting that in my body i know people that did get it and nothing happened and they was perfectly fine but then i know people that did get it and something did happen and they start having all these weird things happen to them and they passed away from it you know what i'm saying so it's like it had a different effects on a lot of different people me personally i'm still as candace said anti-vax like i i still wouldn't personally get it i talked about it they end up putting me all bro it was like this is how it was i promise you i talked about the i talked about the vaccine when it first came out i talked about it they kicked me off youtube for two weeks bro I, like i was kicked off youtube the platform for two weeks I was banned. I couldn't post. I couldn't do nothing simply because I gave my point of view on something that I just felt like was not reasonable for people to get. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just felt like it wasn't reasonable for people to get. Simple as that. You know what I'm saying? And, and the same thing with Candace said. Like, I believe that the things that God placed on this earth, he placed certain things on this earth for a reason. So the, the vegetables, the, the things that can heal us, it can heal us. Don't listen to what the government is trying to feed y'all saying that, oh, this is going to work for you. This is going to work for you. Because at the end of the day, if you take care of your body, the Bible says take care of your temple. If you take care of your temple and take the uh, the, uh, the the right precautions for your body and you put the right things in your body. I'm not saying, like me, I'm not a vegan, but I take care of my body to the point where, bro, it's like it's, if I did get sick and if I do get sick, it's so easy for me to overcome that sickness. My body is healthy. I'm very healthy. I work out. I may not, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I try to eat uh, I try to eat in moderation I try to eat as healthy as I possibly can like I'm not a vegan but it is best if you do become a vegan because these things won't occur when you do be I know vegans that never got sick out of like 16 years 20 years of not being a vegan so it's like a lot of things that God did place on this earth such as the vegetation and even the weed the not the weed you smoke and all that man-made stuff they want to put in your body not not that weed but we was placed here as a healing mechanism. You know what I'm saying? So stuff like that, God placed to heal us, bro. And we we so focused on, oh, I got to get the vex. I got to get the vex. I got to Like, everybody was so scared, bro. The government scared people out of their boxers to go out there and get the vex, to put that in their body. And half of them passed away from it. I think more people, I don't know the facts on this. Don't quote me. But if I'm not mistaken, maybe somebody in the comment, comment section could, um, could correct me if I'm wrong. But I, be, I, I think more people died from the vax rather than got healed from the vax. I don't know if that's a fact, okay? I, I don't know the, the the things on that, but I heard of more people that's passing rather than more people that's in. Like I said, I know people that actually got healed from and that, you know what I'm saying, nothing happened. But it's more people out there that I done heard about that died from it rather than got healed from it so y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below i know this whole entire like this whole fact thing is over with now because obviously they just put that out there to to really it was a distraction for something
I believe that COVID was a distraction for something, bro. It was a distraction. It, it, they, they shut down the whole world. Everybody was scared out of their socks. Everybody's still wearing masks. It's like, bro, it's ridiculous, bro. It's truly ridiculous. And we just we just believe in everything the government feeding us. Oh, my gosh. The government tell you that an alien invasion is coming. Y'all go believe it. In reality, that was Jesus Christ coming back to take over his people. But anyways, y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Hit the like button. Subscribe to on post notifications. I love each and one of y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.